Hello, my name is Dylan Craig and this is my pitch for my uh, Level 3 Year 2 Extended Final Major Project for Lisbon Star Creative Media. Uh, so my Final Major is a kind of crime drama gangster film, sort of inspired by the likes of, say, Goodfellas or um, Casino, you know, those types of films, uh, shows like The Sopranos, Breaking Bad. It is titled Old Smoke Families. The title comes from uh, the city of Belfast. Its nickname is uh, actually the Old Smoke. And this film is set in Belfast and it's also, shoot it's also gonna hopefully shoot in Belfast. Um, someone actually did say to me, just title it Old Smoke, but I'm not trying to just sort of show off the city of Belfast or you know that it's not focused on the city, it's just set in the city actually focuses on the families, old smoke families, and the families are essentially crime families, like you would see in the mob, the mafia, or even here as well, it does exist, it's not as commonly known here, but it does exist. So this film will follow a young man who betrays the boss of a crime family in order to try and get out from under them, so that he and his fiance can sort of leave and go be free. Obviously that wouldn't be a very entertaining film alone, so they have to get caught and they have to end up in conflict. There has to be danger, excitement. So they end up trying to join another, well he tra tries to join another family. And that sparks a war between the two, which then, you know, leads a conflict. So yeah, uh, next slide. Uh, so projects that are currently inspiring. Uh, my final major project. Next slide. Uh, so this is Heat. Uh, it is directed by Michael Mann. 88% uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, 8.3 on IMDb, 76% Metacritic, so all decent good scores. It's been known as uh, one of the most intelligent crime thrillers. Uh, it's been praised for its craft, pacing, proportion. Uh, it follows Lieutenant Hannah, a detective, uh, so this sort of focuses on cops, mine doesn't, but I can still take elements from this. Uh, he decides to catch a highly intelligent seasonal criminal who has vowed to pull off one last robbery before he retires for good. So basically it's this cop trying to catch a criminal who's about to retire. Is the criminal going to get away with it and retire for good? Or is the cop going to get him and his last job ends up being a bust? Uh, so it was written in 1979 and went through his whole uh, process it was a 1989 television film before it released in the early 90s also as a follow-up novel so they've expanded on that since and they're planning to make a film of that as well so a tv show called the wire uh it holds a 94 percent uh, critic score and a 96 percent audience score on Tomatoes, so very very highly 9.3 on IMDb, so very, very highly rated. One of the most critically acclaimed shows of all time, actually. Um, it focuses on the city of Baltimore, so there's sort of this city kind of environment aspect to it, which my film also hopes to kind of capture in some way. Detective James McNulty and his team investigate crimes to try and solve a bridge that exists between drug kingpins, law enforcement agencies, there's plenty of other different elements in the city that play into that. It's not just cops and crooks, there's also the middlemen, dock workers, here's shipping in drugs, newspapers who are reporting on stuff that allows the crooks to stay one step ahead of the cops, etc, etc. Um, it's also been expanded beyond its original media, it's got a three prequel shorts and it also has a spiritual successor which is basically a sequel but it uses different characters but it's the same setting same plot different characters next slide uh scarface iconic one uh 81 percent rotten tomatoes 8.3 imdb so it's it's also critically acclaimed uh it's been known as one of brian de palma the director's uh, best films uh, after getting a green card in exchange for assassinating a Cuban government official, Tony Montana, a guy played by Al Pacino, he stakes a claim on the drug trade in Miami, so he rises up, 
above the ranks higher and higher and higher until of course he eventually becomes kingpin of crime and drugs in the city of Miami, Florida. Um, it hasn't really been expanded upon in its original, uh, from its original uh, material, but there has been attempts to it. Um, they have attempted to do a sequel to it, they've attempted to do a remake, um, but it is also actually a remake of a 1932 film, which is based itself on a 1929 novel, so it's an updating of that. Next slide. But that's not all. Uh, there are plenty of inspirations for Old Smoke Families that go beyond those three that I've just mentioned. Um, Breaking Bad, Sopranos, Peaky Blinders, The Godfather Trilogy, Top Boy, Goodfellas, Casino, A Bronx Tale, Main Streets, Blue Story, Gangs of New York, The Departed, The Irishman, Carlitos Way, Donnie Brasco, all different projects that have had some kind of small um, part to play in forming this idea in my head to then carry into this. Next slide. So the resources I will require um, will be a Canon a DSLR camera with sort of a 1855mm lens, a Manfredo tripod, uh, so a boom microphone, Tascam audio recorder. Definitely do want to put much more emphasis on capturing sound this go around because last year that aspect didn't go too well, so I definitely want to make sure I have plenty of resources to help amplify the sound so that I can work on that and make that better this year. Editing software, um, that could be anything from the Adobe Creative Cloud or Shotcut or any types of different software out there um, that both I can get provided from the college or I can have for free on my own computer at home. Uh, help from anyone who I may in fact, um, hire or anyone who volunteers or even classmates, if anyone would like to do it, completely fine. A lot of research and planning, uh, which last year as well I did, uh, make sure that there's plenty of research into the type of stuff that I'm portraying, the type of stuff I want to film, the type of sound I want to capture, type of areas I'm going to be shooting in. Uh, as well as, of course, planning, making sure I know what I want to shoot, when I want to shoot it, when I can shoot it, you know, different uh, timetable of production. So when do I want to have my research kind of mostly finished? When do I want to go into pre? When do I want to go into production? When do I want to go into post? When do I want to complete it by? And yeah, again, a reasonable schedule that could be adhered to closely. So not anything that's going to take me like two, three months to shoot, something that I could do in a month tops in terms of shooting and in post, you know, two months tops as well. So, yep, I will also be documenting that on my website with the research, pre-production, post-production, production, everything documented on, a, on one wee website. Uh, so job roles that this film will require is, of course, director, so that's basically person who sort of commands the set, you know, giving orders, action, cut, you know, record, or telling the actors what to do, how to perform, how to portray emotions, stuff like that. Writer, just person who writes his treatments and script drafts. Uh, producer, uh, people who help make final decisions in the film, so if the director's unsure about something, there's someone to then sort of hold counsel with and talk about it, but also someone to kind of help fund it as well, kind of put money into it so then, you know, they can hire out places and stuff. The editor, so people who would then take the raw uncut footage that has been shot, cutting it down to where it then can be placed into um, bigger timeline with all the rest of the footage, someone who can help sort of color grade it, someone who can then help add in sound, to make it then a final product that's acceptable. A uh, camera operator, so somebody who's just gonna stand there and basically record or stop recording. Sound operator, same thing, somebody who's gonna record the sound and then stop recording the sound. Prop master, that would be uh, someone who can um, take stuff to and from set or someone that we can collect equipment off and then return it to uh, at, at the beginning or at the end of a shooting day. And the actors, so that's basically the ones here in front of the camera, saying lines, performing emotions bringing this to life by acting out what's been written on the page. 
so research, so for this I plan to research um, acclaimed crime drama films and shows which you've seen a bit of earlier, what has inspired me. So I'm going to then research sort of what goes into them to make them what they are, how to write a gangster film, uh, target audiences, the codes and conventions, so what it needs to actually be a crime drama or a gangster film. Locations, so that would be location scouting, such as sort of, okay, we have the city in mind, but where exactly in the city do we want to use? Uh, where do we want to film scenes? Where, what house do we want to hire for a scene, or what place do we want to hire for this? Uh, how to cast, so basically what we've written on a page, what emotions there are to that, what lines there are to that, and just what type of actor or performer would be best for that. Essential equipment, uh, such as the cameras, the tripods, the mics. Shooting techniques, so if, these, if this type of genre of film has techniques to how they're shot, how is that captured, how do they do that, how do they come up with that. Uh, editing skills, so again, instead of how is it shot, how is it edited to make it look like what it is and sound, how do they sound, how do you capture good sound, how do you make the audio as best as it can be so that it's an acceptable standard or even beyond acceptable. Next one. Uh, so the target audience, so after a bit of research I have sort of um, determined that they could be uh, that males aged between uh, 30 to 44 are probably my best target audience. But again, you don't want to just invite those. You want to try and invite everybody. So, you know, females aged 18 to 30, over 45. You know, anyone that likes this film is the main target audience, but there's also majority demographics such as ages, locations, and genders. Uh, so my goal is basically to just get people to enjoy it, find it intense and dramatic with a gripping story and a good runtime that doesn't waste their time, you know. Uh, distribution. So um, this film will be, like my last film, will be av made available on my YouTube channel that I created uh, last year for Leave Me Alone and uh, Creative Media. I'm going to still keep that channel because I have actually been using it actively since setting it up. So I will be distributing it on that. Um, I will also be sharing the embedded link uh, to that video on my website so it can be accessed through that no problem. And I will also be sharing it around Facebook and different types of groups that I'm in where I would talk to different filmmakers or get actors for a project such as this. So it'll be shared in there just to show it off. It's a distribution platform. It's there. So it's been marketed through that platform. So evaluation plan. So we are, I'm going to be uh, tracking my um, progress through updates, through weekly vlogs. Um, now if I'm, I, of college uh, shooting, then I plan to take it upon myself to record those vlogs myself, uh, just via my phone, just to have them, just to then update. But then also if I'm in college, I'll record them just on a camera, really quick, really short updates, week by week by week, and then maybe sort of uh, follow it up with uh, a big evaluation of the project or sort of a bigger kind of monthly update to kind of round it all into. Um, so I definitely will also be screening it before I publicly upload it just to get a little bit of feedback just so then I can then take that into an evaluation and review how people think it has gone. Um, and yep, also doing vlog, vlogs from set and capturing plenty of behind the scenes and even bloopers on uh, the camera that I've ha that I will be hiring out to record footage um, so then there's just way more to evaluate it's like you know what went wrong in this blooper or what were we doing in this behind the scenes were we being productive or were we too unproductive or whatever next slide 
And yep, that, that's it. That's all, folks, as you can see. Um, so yeah, uh, that, I pretty much don't have anything else to say about my uh, final major project at this current point in time. But thank you very much for listening to my uh, pitch presentation. And um, yep, that's it from me. Uh, thank you very much. I'll give you some quick feedback then. Um, the amount of detail in there was a lot. You've definitely planned this and it's well thought out. There's structure at every level from conception to research to planning to pre production, post distribution. So you have a clear pathway. What I would want you to focus on, or what I want you to be aware of, is that for each one of those pathways to develop what you found out so far, because you've quite a lot of detail in there, so you could easily go into production with what you have now, mm -hmm. and almost seal through. But I think as a student that wants to be pushing for distinctions, and we'll talk about how you can expand each one of those and sort of diverse into different areas to try and broaden your knowledge and understanding of each one of those areas. Okay, okay? Yep. Um, first stage is to, you mentioned some films that you'd researched, some things you were looking into, looking into crime dramas and things like that. It would be to start compiling that evidence and from that evidence gather information that can influence your own production, your storyboards, your scripting, etc, etc. So that would be our first stage and then I would also like you to, I know you hired some sound equipment, but to hire one of these cameras that we're using today and shoot in HDR mode and get some footage in low light, good light, you know, various light sources and bring it into college so we can have a look at it right. to see how much sort of dynamic range and how much uh, we have to work with basically. Because yeah. I want you to use the best camera possible. Okay. And if okay. that's this camera, that's fair enough, but if it's a DSLR, then it'll be a DSLR. Yeah, okay. Okay? Yep. So as I said, usually I would give people some clear indication of what I want them to do, but you've already got such detail here that I think on a week-to-week -week basis we will break down sections and give you some advice there. So for mm -hmm. now, it's to start compiling that research information that's going to then lead on to your planning and then that lead on to your pre and that lead on to your production, etc. So yeah, between now and Wednesday, start focusing on that and then we'll get maybe this camera hard out today or Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And we'll start getting test footage. Right. Okay. Yep. Well done. Excellent work.